Hi, I'm Julie Balmer. I'm from uh, Michigan. In 2005, I was convicted. I was sentenced to 10 to 15 years. In October of 2010, I was formally exonerated after a successful second trial. When I was convicted, they took everything from me immediately. When I returned, they gave nothing back to me. I immediately went to a homeless shelter. I had no place to go. My family was out of state, so I had, uh, no, I had no means to support myself. Um, it was basically it was like bringing myself back from the dead. You know the most important needs that 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 somebody needs when they're first released is you know housing, medical care, mental health, um, and none of that was provided. Uh, but Obi, you know, he's chosen to uh, to uh, you know to lead you know to continue with the fight. I even told him you know you could have gone off and bought an island and taken your wife and go raised a family and just uh, you know. I uh, said screw the world, but instead he, he decided to uh, partake in this crusade, which is going to be, I think, lifelong, at least in my lifetime. I appreciate the camaraderie of other exonerees because they, they understand exactly where I've been, because they've been there as, as well. And, uh, you know, everybody's case is different, everybody's situation is different. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we, we were all, we were all um, rejected by society.